Hello again, everyone. Edwin Lerner back once again. In this YouTube astrological segment, I'm going to be talking about the transit sun in Aries. Now, when the sun transit air transits Aries, a lot of this is a lot of aggressive energy, a lot of exuberance, a lot of a lot about being extemporaneous. It's about being spontaneous, starting a lot of new projects, maybe sometimes simultaneously, but uh, having these projects culminate or come, having the projects culminate or come to an end, that might be a completely different story. There's, I mean, it, the sun is making its transition from a little bit more lethargic, relaxed Pisces, and it goes into Aries. I mean, in, in Pisces, it could have been more about kind of staying in, finding that little place seclusion, recharging that emotional battery. And then coming in Aries, it's like a lot of people, I think, like when the sun enters Aries, a lot of people just like to come out and really start doing things. It's interesting that in the United States, that the Major League Baseball season begins when the sun is in Aries, as many of you may know. Uh, Aries is ruled by Mars, and it's about competition. It's in, I mean, this is sports, and really, it, baseball begins in, in the United States. Major League Baseball begins when the sun is in Aries, and then you have, I mean, as far as the regular season goes anyway, and what's interesting too is a lot of people begin like their spring cleaning people are a little bit more outdoorsy they're going outside doing things doing some cultivation doing things with their garden and they're just a little bit more of that uh, exuberance in the air and a little bit more confidence i think what the sun and aries brings as far as the transit goes, you might find people collectively, collectively, maybe on average, a little bit more combative and quarrelsome than usual too during this time when the sun is in Aries. And really, this could be a time for a lot of about being and having initiative and a lot of enterprise as well. And people are a lot of times more active and more busy during this time, a lot more energetic than than they ordinarily are even people that have charts and in and, and what they feel about themselves that they're even not really that energetic not active and they're generally sedentary people who are very stagnant it still could indicate that these people might exude exhibit a little bit more energy than they do ordinarily and what's interesting too you you look at this in the United States, a lot of times you have that tax deadline, I believe, when the sun is in Aries. And in a lot of times you, you have a lot of people acting very impatiently, trying to hurry up and get their tax forms uh, taken care of. And, and I think a lot of that could be attributed to that impatient energy that Aries does bring. And people during this time they're more apt to speak their mind be more uh, outspoken uh, the sun can be about uh, really that that focus and that concentration of energy and a lot of that could be very aries like very combative very competitive and really and a, a lot more assertive and, and this is a type of energy where people will speak up a lot more than they ordinarily would. And, and Aries is also about courage. This is a time where you, you might see people, even the more passive docile people, are more apt to intervene or try to stop a, a, some kind of argument or fight brewing than they ordinarily would. This is really, this is a lot about that Aries energy. And a lot of times, at least, uh, I mean, I, I know a lot of, uh, when Easter starts, a lot of times the sun is in Aries during this time, and you have this uh, Easter egg hunting, you have a lot of activity connected with Easter, you have people giving out all this candy, and doing a lot of Easter activities. There's just a lot more activity during that time as far as that holiday goes, and the Easter egg hunting, a lot of times that's, that's something that's done outdoors, of course, and it's very and it's competitive too which is really very strongly connected with the zodiac sign aries so i think that's very interesting looking at those things when the sun 
is transiting uh, the zodiac sign Aries. Well, anyway, it's also important to look at the house that the sun in Aries uh, transits during this time because this could impact the transit for you personally. Now, let's say that the transiting sun in Aries is in the thir your third house. Well, that might be a lot of concentration of power and energy on starting and embarking on a lot of projects connected with communications, perhaps with siblings, and even more activity and energy being used with your with neighbors as well. Now, let's say that the transiting sun in Aries is making a conjunction to your natal sun. Well, you, this might be a time where you might feel very revitalized and invigorated, but being an Aries, that could only add to the, the abundance of energy and in starting perhaps many new projects. Well, anyway, people, that'll conclude this YouTube astrological segment for the sun transiting Aries, or I should say the transit sun in Aries. And stay tuned next time where I'll be talking about the transit sun in Taurus. Two things I want to get with you on before I head out. Firstly, the stars may impel, but do not compel. And secondly, never isolate any single astrological element, aspect, planetary placement, position, configuration, influence, or what have you, and make an analysis of a person, astrologically speaking, based on this alone, because astrologically speaking, the person is the sum of all their components in their natal chart, and not just one. Until next time, people, stay well.